Hi, in this video we're going to show you a way that you could show or hide various items down here in the system tray. So if you're a Windows 11 user, you probably know that there is not a lot of taskbar customization you could do compared to Windows 10. So fortunately we have the Windhog program that we could use to do these types of things. Alright, so Windhog is a program, it's free, you download and you install it. And how it works is you add mods to the Windhog program itself and then these mods will allow you to do uh, various things. Alright, so when you install it you'll have your home screen with any installed mods and then it'll kind of give you some featured mods here that you could choose from. Then if you click on explore you could search for even more and then you could actually do a search in the search box as well. And then once you find one you like you just click on details and install and that's all there is to it. Okay, so the one we're going to be using today is called Taskbar Tray System Icon Tweaks. So if you want to use this one and you don't find it, you know, just by browsing around, you could go to the search box and type that in and it should pop up. All right, then once you install it, it'll be active and then you could disable it anytime you don't want to use it. And if you go to details, it'll give you more information and then you'll have your settings. And then here are the options we could use with the mod. So we could hide the volume icon, the network icon, battery icon, if you have a laptop, uh, microphone, and then the bell. A lot of people don't like having this bell here, but you could hide that as well. And for the bell, you could have it hide the bell never, always, or when there are no new notifications. So you could just have it pop up only on notifications. And then the show desktop button width, you could change that, which is this right here. It's not really a button, it's just kind of a little extra space. So let's do that first. Let's go drastic with 80. And every time you make a setting, you have to click on save. So now you can see we have this big show desktop button. Just remember that 12 is the default if you want to set it back. All right, so now let's hide the bell icon. So now you can see that's gone. But then one problem with that is you have nothing to click on to show, you know, past notifications, you know, new ones will show up, but then you won't be able to click on your past ones. So if we set this back to never here, then we could click on that and show the old notifications. All right, so let's say network icon, like so. And then these two I don't have, so I can't show you that, but you can see how it works. Pretty simple. And then, of course, if you don't want to use it, once again, you could disable it from here, or you could remove it from Windhawk altogether. So if you do decide to remove it from Windhawk, you might want to make sure you enable everything first before you remove it to avoid any problems. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you can download Windhawk. So once you install it, just do a search for this mod here, just like that. Click on details and install and then come to the settings section and take it from there. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.